And I want you to listen to what I'm going to say and then we all together are going to pray. Whilst it may be true that there are many underlying issues affect, affecting our people and our country, it is not true that you can solve issues by killing each other. We cannot kill blacks against blacks, Africans against Africans. This may be a setup to Africa to insinuate the fact that Africans are not capable of running their own affairs that Africans cannot run their own countries, that Africans have no capacity to engage, to discuss, to negotiate, and come to an amicable understanding and conclude matters peacefully. It is important to note that whether we like it or not, we are Africans before we are South Africans, that we are humans before we are South Africans. I just came back from Tanzania and I stayed there for a week on the 5th of April 2015 on Easter Sunday. I closed the service here and I, I went onto a plane and I went to close a concert in Tanzania. Thousands of people came to the stadium to see Soli Matlang. I was closing a very, their biggest Easter show and when I was on stage, I could not finish my stage performance or my stage time because there were threats of Al-Shabaab attacks looming in the country of Tanzania. I was quickly told to finish and come out of the stage. And this happened after a gruesome and emotionless killing of students in Kenya. And it's just been a little bit not so long ago that Boko Haram abducted the young girls in Nigeria. And I heard the Nigerian government saying that we don't know if we'll be able to bring the girls back. All this is evident that there is an attack on our continent. To destabilize Africa, there is a spirit that is seeking to destroy the most beautiful continent in the world, which is Africa. Let us therefore come together as Africans as South Africans and let's hold each other's hands and stand against these killings. Let's stand against these xenophobic attacks. Let's stand against Afrophobic attacks. Let's all say no to killing each other. Let us all say no to violence. Let us all say no to the shedding of the blood by one African to another, by one human being to another. In the name of Jesus, let this madness stop. Let us arrest this evil spirit in prayer. And therefore, I want to ask all of you at this stage to connect your hands on your left and on your right. And I want you to know that I am not against any other thing. I'm just being, I'm, I want to stick to the prophetic prayer that Africa prayed many, many decades ago. And I want to declare that prayer today even as we hold each other's hands. And the prayer goes like this, the prayer says, and this is a prayer to our Father. And we are saying to God this day today. And I want you to know that the Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter number 68, verse number 31, the Bible says envoys will come out of Africa and Africa will quickly stretch out her hands to God. We prayed a prayer many years ago. We're going to pray that prayer today as we all agree in one accord in our hearts. And our prayer today is saying, Go see Sigelela in Africa. Malupaganiswe upondo loayo. Yizwa imitanda zoyetu. Go see Sigelela in Africa. Murena buluka si chaba sa Africa. Fedisa dintwa limatwenyeho. 
This is our prayer today. Osibuluke Morena Sichaba Sarun. And all of us, let us agree in one way to Masiti Magubenjalo. Magubenjalo. Magube. Guze, guze, gube, guna. Pagate. Guze, gube, guna. Magube, jalo, magube, jalo, magube, jalo, guze, gube, guna, pagate, guze, gube, guna, pa. Iswa Baba Iswa Imitanda So Yetu Nkosi Nkosi Sigelela Sigele Tina Ti Lu Sapo Sapo Iswa Baba Iswa imitanda zo Yesu kosi kosi sigelela sigele tina ti lusapo lusapo magu benjalo ma. In Jesus' name, we have prayed and everybody said, Amen. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated.